Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Dan. I was asked not to play Demir in Standard Pauper for this week, so I decided to ask Roberto what uh, if he had anything fun and he had a, a classic control deck. He has also provided me with the cyber plan, thank you Roberto. And I will play this. Of course I replaced uh, a divination with the fourth treasure cruise, which I felt that every deck needs in standard pauper. Okay, time to be slow and controlling. Joe Gando Pelado is my opponent. Joe Gando Pelado. Joe Gando Pelado. Ah, looks like a fantastic hand. Loving it. Keep it, he mulligans. So card advantage is on my side. Yeah, I'm in no hurry, play some lands, gain some life. I'll play the swift water cliffs in retaliation. Probably want to anticipate here. So I'm gonna play that. Uh, he's probably is it control deck. That's my basic assumption here. No, he isn't. He's a yes guy deck. And here comes Dragon Fodder. So will I just voyage his end here? I think I will. And uh, put that on the bottom. I already had plenty of lands. Uh, Bowling Wilds. And anticipate. Getting closer to the cruise. Okay, I anticipate. What do I want here? Do I want an angler? How does he really handle an angler? I think I just want card advantage at this point. Uh, sacrificing that for blue red, three red sources, four blue sources, two black sources. So maybe black then. And then I'm going to read the bones. Put that on the bottom, put that on the top. And then I'm going to Evolving Wilds again. He's missing Landros, but here comes a lightning strike to my face. Maybe he's a very aggressive yes guy deck then. Oh, oh, yes he is. So I want to Gurmagangler in play here, I think. More than I want to Treasure Cruise, I can Treasure Cruise all day after I have secured my protection. Angler costs two mana, but I can make it cost one. So I'm reading the bones, putting that on the bottom, putting that on the top. Burning the selfless Qatar. I'm playing an angler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have plenty of treasure cruises to win me this game. I'll avoid his end, his token, just to get closer to the cruise. Put on top. Maybe I should just have cruised. Maybe I should have, but I feel a bit cocky. That's dangerous. Uh, 
And of course, he's stalling on mana and is having a bad time overall. Okay, time to go cruising for five mana. Soundstep Outcast. He's here. He has a flying spirit. Definitely need more cards. Uh, lightning strike him, hit his face. Treasure cruise costs four. Swing. Treasure cruise actually costs five. But it's so worth it. All right, cancel uh, next turn for the win, maybe even. He has five cards, he can do a ton here. But all he does is play a sandstep outcast. That's not gonna destroy me, or is it? Take two damage, hide behind cancel, get two cards. Treasure cruise again, or just cruise for seven. No, that doesn't make sense. So am I hiding, or am I just, I'm just attacking here, I think. But am I ready to take four points of damage? Again, got to cancel. We'll use it most happily. And I think that is cancelable. Is that even a word? Okay, he has all those uh, pump all his creature things. Treasure cruise for six. Or for a lot. Yeah, I'm in true danger here. Definitely need some cards. How do I get some cards? I know how. Okay, got a cruise for five. Better find some removal. Negate feels very solid. So play backwater for life. Swing, be ready with negate. That's a good thing, I think. Uh, collateral damage on my angler. I say no. Convoke triplicate spirits. That could be dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. A rise of Eagle should help. Attack. Rise of Eagles. Play a swift water cliffs. Uh, put that on the top. He still has a ton of cards. Another triplicate spirits. So 
So I'm going to Treasure Cruise 5 here for 4 because I'm gonna bolt something. Um, bolt his face is an option. Uh, of course it is. So I'm gonna attack. He lightning strike that thing. Okay, he still has five. And now he only has four. Still lethal though. If things just line up right for him. Uh, play the treasure curse. Put treasure curse in the gate, rise of eagle, lightning strike. Uh, that rise of eagles would be really nice. Okay, now I am actually dead to something. And I think I will die here. Zephyr Scribe looks really bad. Cruise. Yes. Does he find plus two, plus zero? No, I'm a 13. I don't die from it. Oh, well, that's not enough. Okay, how much mana is this? 11, 12. So I can just Rise of Eagle Gurmagangler. Yeah, that seems sweet. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Magma Spray. Does that change things? Of course it changes things. Okay, so I, I have to use him. So I draw a card, then discard a card. Nice. Untap him. Uh, six and Gurmagangler. Swing with the angler, of course, is profitable. Play um, the Rise of Eagles. Can't scry now. Maybe I should just have scryed now. I do want that. And I should have scryed because then it would have gotten one, uh, one cheaper. So now I scry instead. Really skillful. Throw that away. And I also managed to tap all my black mana. But it doesn't matter. Wow, that wasn't very well played. Wow, Cephus Scribe really, really rocked here. Here they come. Block them all. Trumpet Blast. Which is and one of them. I 
Okay, he had seen enough. Uh, let's see now. We actually did get some really good sideboarding directions here. We have Boros tokens. We'll count this as Boros tokens. So we bring in the Scouring Sands. And a negate. And another negate because we failed to put a twin bolt that we really should have had in the deck. Take out one cancel, take out the Zephyr Scribe even though he ruled the world. Uh, take out Nullify, seems like a good thing. One Anticipate and one Read the Bones. And we are ready to rumble. Okay, not mistake free, but the deck feels super powerful. Can't keep that. He did mulligan last time. I can keep this. He should be able to overrun me with this draw. But I'm not dead yet. Okay, so negate or anticipate next turn. But now he casts some creatures. Or nothing at all. So I can sit tight. Do I negate this? I think I do. Those two small guys would have done a ton of damage and it gets me another card in the graveyard. Here comes main phase raise the alarm. And I am stuck in negate anticipate again. And of course Voyage is M, but that seems like the third alternative here. Take the pain. Four mana, but no card. So I anticipate. Do I have to take the land there? I think I have to take the land. Yeah. And I play the land and I once again anticipate or voyage and or negate. Is it more important to hit the land drops here than counter something? How can he not do anything here? Uh, we can counter Sandstep Outcast. So now he has 5 power on the board. That's a lot. Cruise, Starfish, Read the Bones. What do you want here? 5 power coming at me. I will just cast Angler. And after I cast Angler, I want to read the bones. So it's Angler time. Yeah, here comes Angler. He doesn't have counterspell mana. So giant creature. And the swift water cliffs. Next turn I can read the bones negate. I will block the outcast here. He will have to spend two spells on my one spell. Seems like a winning course. Yeah, oh three. Two and a half spells even. That can't be a winning recipe. I am reading the bones.
at this point i don't think i want that island i think i prefer the lightning strike i now feel pretty safe uh oh maybe i'll just take both yeah that's what i'll do i was thinking anticipate So sit back and enjoy the ride. And of course, save the gate for triplicate spirits. Only two spells or two cards in his hand. I am countering a triplicate spirit, of course. Am I countering a dragon fodder? Well, he can't cast Triplicate Spirits afterwards, so I'm countering it. And I'm taking it cool. Because I really want to counter that Triplicate Spirits. I'm going to Voyage Ascend this guy. Well, I'm going to do it now. And I'm going to take the Magma Spray. Maybe I'm not in control here, really. I need one more mana. I'm counterspelling um, Treasure Cruise and Triplicate Spirits. That's nice. Raised alarm, I can deal with that with my magma spray and lightning strike, so I let that pass. Am I doing it now? Yeah, I think I am. Feels like overkill. One for two, like a boss. Another dragon fodder. We left that pass because we will be able to resolve Rise of Eagles. Cat, uh, blue mana. Oh, Mr. Angler for one mana. Seems better than uh, Rise of Eagles. No, I'm casting Rise of Eagles. And maybe this time I don't want the Magma Spray. Randomly. Okay, that worked out well. Oh my god. How much does the second angler cast? Five. So how about paying a lot of man of this angler? I, I wait a minute. How much? I have eight mana. I need to save two, so I have six mana. I have eight cards here, so I can pay 14 for both anglers. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. Oh yeah, double angler. I think I must have made a mistake in order to be able to play two anglers like that. Selfless Cathar. Well, he won't measure up. 
And I'm just gonna do a million damage here. And then play really nasty Chimera. Pretty sweet top deck. Just sent me a message. Good games. Well, thank you, Roberto. This deck felt really strong. Though playing against Jaska tokens, maybe not really a standard pop deck. Of course it is, but maybe not a tier one standard pop deck. I like this deck. I will play it again. Thank you for watching.